So since I've been into movies a lot more lately, I thought I'd just make a quick little video going over my thoughts on the Oscars. Because the thing is, this is the first year I'm really into the Oscars. I was watching it, paying attention the last few years. But this is the first year I've watched a lot of the movies on these lists. So I've been a lot more interested in just thinking about it, getting my opinions out there, talking to people about it. So thought I'd let you guys know. And we're just going to go based off the website and just scroll down the way that they have it set as the nominees. So first one, actor in a leading role. Bradley Cooper, Coleman Domingo, Paul Giamatti, Killian Murphy, Jeffrey Wright. So I've seen every movie that's on this list. Oh no, I lied. I haven't seen Rustin. I've seen every other movie on this list. I think there is a clear winner here. And there is one that I personally hate. Uh, Bradley Cooper... Yeah, cool. You were the only good thing about Maestro. Maestro was a shitter. It was not a good movie. But this is Killian Murphy's Oscar. This is his best acting, best actor. Like, he deserves it. Like, it's clear that Oppenheimer is going to do a sweep. Um, but Paul Giamatti, as the holdovers, I wouldn't be upset if I got it. If he got it. Because, like, even though Jeffrey Wright was great in American fiction... It's kind of just the levels to what Killian had and just what Oppenheimer is. But actor in a supporting role, Sterling K. Brown, Robert De Niro, Robert Downey Jr., Ryan Gosling, Mark Ruffalo. Everyone's going to joke about Ryan Gosling getting it. Uh, I think it's probably a Robert Downey Jr. Um, I wouldn't be upset if Gosling got it. I would find it really funny because that was a great role of his. But... Robert Downey Jr., that is an insane performance by him. So, both Oppenheimer for both of them. Actress in a leading role, I think this is a no-brainer. I don't even really have to read the nominees. Yeah, The Anatomy of the Fall of Sandra Hewler, that was good. I haven't seen Nyad. Didn't care for Maestro at all, so I don't even care about Carrie Mulligan. Emma Stone killed it, but... Lily Gladstone, Killers of the Flower Moon, was a fucking... She outshined Leo and Robert De Niro in the movie. So it's like, yeah, like, psh, there's your answer. That's... it. I'd be upset if she didn't get it, you know what I mean? If Emma Stone got it, I'd be like, okay. But Lily Gladstone deserved that. Actress in supporting role? Um, I... So Emily Blunt Oppenheimer was an obvious pick. Uh, Daniel Brooks, Color Purple... Pretty good pick. I like that movie. Um, America Ferrera and Barbie is a very... I don't know why she got the nomination. But... And then Divine Joy Rudolph Randolph. Um, I think it's... It's one... I think it's... It, for me... For me, it's an obvious pick. It's um, Divine Joy Randolph and The Holdovers. Uh, the Holdovers is one of my favorite movies of the year. And I think that her performance... Out of the ones that we see here, it's the one that shines the most. I, I'm surprised they didn't give her... It was like a supporting role. I think hers is more of a like lead role. But again, if it went to lead, she still wouldn't beat out Lily Gladstone. But animated feature film. I haven't seen one of these. I haven't seen Robot Dream, so I can't talk about that. But Elemental, swipe that off the screen. I love Nimona. Nimona's in my top 10 movies last year, but it's not getting it. It's between two. It's The Boy and the Heron and Across the Spider-Verse. And for me, The Boy and the Heron was a disappointment from Ghibli. I think it was way too similar to all the other films that they've done. And I go there for interesting concepts that I've never seen before for Ghibli films. Some of my favorite movies of all time. Grave of the Fireflies. Um, Kiki's Delivery Service. Uh, Spirited Away. Like All three of those are like near my top 50 films of all time. But the fact is, The Boy and the Heron just did not live up to that. So for me, my favorite movie of last year, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Should take it, but since The Boy and the Heron got the, the Golden Globe, I wouldn't be surprised if it got it. But for me, it's like of all the times to give Ghibli a, a Oscar for Best Picture, it's not this year. It's definitely not yet this year. It goes to Spider-Verse for me. Cinematography. So... On these three, on these four, I haven't seen El Conde, but other than Maestro, I think the three options here are pretty cool, pretty good. Um, I think it would probably have to go to Oppenheimer, 
Again, I don't want to give it a sweep. Killers of the Flower Moon was great. But I think this is really between Poor Things and Oppenheimer in this this uh, category. Uh, I think Poor Things really did have standout cinematography. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if that got that was its one win. But again, Oppenheimer could steal the show. Um, costume design. This is the Barbie win. I think no other movie like yeah, Napoleon was great. Um, Poor Things had some great ones. Killers of the Flower Moon. Like, all of these are great options. But Barbie, this is the Barbie award. Like, if Barbie's finally going to get a win, this is the one that's going to do it. Uh, so directing, this is the Nolan Award. Um, there was no better f directed film than Oppenheimer last year. It's It's easy. These movies are all great, but... Again, it's just just Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer's too damn good. I haven't seen any of the documentary features. I haven't seen any short films. Editing, Holdovers, Anatomy of the Fall, Kills the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer, poor things. Holdovers could get it. This could be the one that gets Holdovers thing. Again, Oppenheimer. All of these are good. So for this one in particular, I'd be cool with seeing the Holdovers pull away a win. Even though I don't think... Even when we're talking about supporting actress, I hope she wins, but I think, if anything, the film editing. Yeah, uh, this this could be the holdovers one. But then again, if it went to any of them, not going to be upset. Um, international feature film. We already know the answer to this one. It's Zone of Interest. I do think Zone of Interest is the best out of the... the I've only seen two of these. Uh, Perfect Days just came out, so I haven't seen that yet. Society of the Snow and Zone of Interest. But Zone of Interest got nominated for Best Picture. But Society of the Snow, Perfect Days, Io Capitino. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know. And then Teacher's Lounge. None of them got nominated for Best Picture. Uh, the only one that would have been able to contest this would have been if they put um, Past Lives. Uh, but other than that, Zone of Interest is winning this. We already know the answer. Now, Makeup and Hairstyling. I was thinking about this one. So I haven't seen Golda. Fuck Maestro. Oppenheimer is cool, but for me, I poor things in Society of the Snow. I think those two are the ones that are actually um, the heavy contenders for this year. Um, I think it may go to poor things. I think poor things will get an Oscar for this one, but Society of the Snow really did have great makeup and hairstyling. Like if you've seen that movie, you I think you'd agree with with that take. But poor that's a poor things. That's poor things. Um, Music original score, this is the easiest pick, I think, out of all of them, in my opinion. The Oppenheimer score is one of the craziest scores ever. Uh, Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny is just on there because John Williams is like on death's doorstep and who knows if they'll ever be able to give him a nomination again. If he gets the win, that's sort of disrespectful to him. I think he even knows this isn't his best work. Means, But, like, yeah, just... That's the Oppenheimer Award. But yeah, best original song. Uh, just give it to I'm Just Ken. <laughs> but it'll go it'll go to Billie Eilish for what was I made for? I that that yeah I I can I can understand if the Billie Eilish if Billie Eilish gets that one. But best picture. This is the big one. So I'm going to actually for best picture. I'm gonna rank them. I'm gonna go over my listing of how I do them. So in last place, easily, Maestro. Maestro, Bradley Cooper trying his damnedest to try to get an Oscar. And it just did not work. So after that, I'd actually say Anatomy of a Fall is my second. Oh, that's the only one I think is bad, mind you. I think every other one is an 8 out of 10 or higher. And speaking of 8 out of 10s, I think Anatomy of a Fall, really good film. But... Everyone remembers this for the court case. And there's a better court case in the Best Picture nominations. <laughs> so after this, I'd go for seventh place. I'd end up hitting Zone of Interest. I think, it's, I think it is a really good... Or eighth place. I'd go Zone of Interest. I think it is really good. Uh, there's a couple things in the film that I thought weren't explored nearly enough. But its nuancedness was, was really good. It was, it was great. And then after that, even though I 
love, and I think this has a chance of winning, I think that Past Lives is in seventh place. Um, I think when we're once we get to this point, we're talking about top tier movies from the last decade. All of these are phenomenal after this point, because then sixth place it would go American Fiction. Again, hilarious film. Everybody should watch it. So good. But then, oh no no no, my bad, my bad. I, I misordered this. I'd put um Past Lives, um or not Past Lives, Poor Things. So. I'll have them listed. So, Maestro, Zone of Interest, Past Lives, Poor Things, American Fiction, then after that, Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, The Holdovers, and Oppenheimer. Um, there's three movies I think actually have a chance of getting this. There's a few of them. American Fiction wasn't going to get it. It's a comedy. That just that wouldn't really work. Uh, or they wouldn't have done it. Uh, Anatomy of the Fall, I don't think it's as good as people think it is, but it is still a great movie, so scratch it off. Barbie, they had to put it here, scratch it off. Um, Maestro, if it wins, that is, I'm done with the Oscars. Garbage, scratch it off. Um, poor Things, while well, it is really good, it's not like a highlight of the year for me, so scratch it off. Killers of the Flower Moon has a chance but I think a lot of people think it's too long, too dragged out. And it is too really long. But I don't think there's anything that should have been cut. I think it was a really well, like, crafted film. But for me, it's between three movies that are going to win this. Past Lives, Holdovers, Oppenheimer. And I think Oppenheimer will take the cake. But if Past Lives or the Holdovers get it, I'd... I'd expect it. I think that makes sense. But for me, it's just, yeah, it just, mm, like, makes sense. Production design. This one. Actually, maybe a Barbie one. I think this one goes to Barbie. Um, Napoleon was good. Poor Things was good. Actually, it could go to Poor Things or Barbie. But I think I'll go Barbie for this one. I think Barbie may walk away with two. Um... But at the very least, Poor Things is actually as a strong contender for a lot of these. But then, on the sound, because uh, I never didn't watch any of the live short films, animated short films. Um, sound, The Creator, Maestro, Mission Impossible, Oppenheimer, Zone of Interest. That's the Zone of Interest one, baby. The sound is the key thing that makes Zone of Interest as insane as it is. Um, but then again, like, they they they, they kind of nailed it. Other than Maestro, Suck a Dick, Oppenheimer sound was crazy. Mission Impossible was crazy. And The Creator was a very strong nomination for that. I really did like The Creator. And speaking of which, visual effects. But for me, again, even though there, there's one standout here. And I think a lot of people agree. Creator, minus one. Guardians of the Galaxy, Mission Impossible, Napoleon. This is the minus one award. They, the creator was crazy for what they managed to do with the budget they had. They made it look better than so many films. But you're looking at that with 75 million, I think. Almost 100 million. And Godzilla minus one with 15 million. And it looks phenomenal. Like, yes, I do think Guardians Volume 3 is a better film than Godzilla Minus One. But Jesus Christ is Minus One one of the most insane when it comes to visual effects. So that's getting it. Writing adapted screenplay. Hmm. Good options. Honestly, across the board, good options. Yeah, just give it to Nolan. <laughs> give it to give it to Oppenheimer. Um, I don't really know. Like that, these are all good, good options. So that's why I'm like, eh. like, so sure, give another Oppenheimer award. Uh, writing original screenplay. 
haven't watched May December. But give it to the holdovers. Give it to the holdovers. And yeah, that's that's about it. The only thing I pray is that Maestro wins fuck all in nothing. But other than that, I think the Oscars kind of nailed the nominations this year. So let me know what your nominations are, what you would guess who you think would win. But yeah, now I had a fun time recording this and I'm out. Peace.